Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a what's in my kids Easter basket video. Obviously the world is absolutely crazy right now. Luckily all of this stuff I purchased or ordered before everything started to get nuts. I was very well prepared this year. So I'm gonna just show you everything that I have for them here. Easter's gonna look a little bit different this year for everybody. I know everything is really off and really weird right now. So um, anyway, I just thought it would be fun, a nice little distraction from everything that's going on to show you what I picked up for my girls' Easter baskets. So Ellie just turned two. Emma will be one in May. So this is Emma's first Easter. This is Ellie's third Easter. So uh, that's kind of what I'm working with here. So these are their baskets. Ellie's is the pink one. Emma's is the purple one. Hence why it still has the tag on it because she was not born last year when I picked these up. These are from Hobby Lobby and I can tell you exactly how much I paid for them actually. Uh, they say $9.99. I'm sure I got them on the 50% off sale. So I think I paid 10 bucks for both of them and I really like them. They're wire so they're going to hold up really well for many, many years to come. These are the baskets that I use for their Easter basket stuff. These are not what they use to go and gather eggs. I have some like cheap Dollar Tree plastic baskets for gathering eggs. These are just like the cute ones that sit on the table with all of their goodies inside of them. So they have a few matching items, but for the most part, most of this obviously is for Ellie because Emma's a baby. She doesn't really understand what's going on at all. So a couple of things for Ellie's basket. This is from the Target dollar spot last year. It is just an egg shaped notebook. And this is some candy jewelry. She's really into eating the candy necklaces and stuff right now. So I thought that that would be pretty fun. This is from Walmart and this was a dollar as well. I got this cute little tumbler cup and it has a matching silverware set. I already gave her the silverware set to use, but I saved the cup for her Easter basket. This is from my local Smith's store. I think I paid like a dollar fifty for it, but it's just a cute little tumbler cup. From the Dollar Tree, I got them some little matching sunglasses. Emma probably won't leave these on, but Ellie will probably break hers and need another pair. So there are two of them here. I got two of these books. I'll probably put one in each of their baskets, but these are the Mrs. Pinochle's Fruit Alphabet and Vegetable Alphabet. I heard really good things about these. From the Target Dollar Spot, I got some of these little chalk roller things. You add water to them and they roll out like a roller paintbrush with sidewalk chalk. So I thought that would be kind of fun. I'll probably open this and split it between their baskets or this might just go in Emma's basket because for Ellie's basket, if this will even fit, I got her the bubble whale bubble blower machine. Uh, she's gonna freak out. We got her one of those like handheld um, Mickey wands when we were at Disneyland back in October. So that's been six months ago now. So an actual machine that like sits on the floor and blows a ton of bubbles, she's gonna lose her mind. I'm so excited to give this to her. I'm very proud that I have actually stuck it out and waited to give this to her because there's been a million times where I'm like, I wish I could just pull out the bubble machine to entertain her for a few minutes right now. So I've saved this thankfully for Easter. Last but not least, we have the eggs and the candy. I always get my plastic eggs from the Dollar Tree and I have some from this year and some from last year. The ones this year are a lot more pastel than the ones from last year. You can see the color difference like in the blue as well as in the purple, but I actually have really good luck with the Dollar Tree eggs. I find that they last totally fine through toddlers picking them up and snapping them and whatever. I've had very few of them actually break to the point where they're like unusable for the following year. Um, and if they do all completely break, they're a dollar. So just pick up another pack next year. And I just got one pack of candy again because I have a two year old, so she doesn't need to be eating a ton of candy. So these are the Starburst mini and jelly bean multi-pack. So this is what I'm going to fill the eggs with and hopefully it's going to be warm enough that we can do an Easter egg hunt outside. It's pretty small and simple this year but now everything is shut down and last I heard Amazon is not even shipping anything that isn't essential items right now so uh, I'm very glad I got all of this before everything happened and I know that Ellie is going to love everything I got. The bubble blower and the chalk are going to be like her favorite things. She's super into books right now so those alphabet books will be awesome. I tried to keep everything very practical 
functional things that I know she'll actually use. I didn't want to like go to the dollar store and just get a bunch of little toys that'll get broken and thrown away in a week. So hopefully I got some stuff here that will be good throughout the spring and summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you next time. Bye.